Hello everyone, so today I'm going to answer to the question, is it still relevant to use native language to develop mobile application in 2021? And basically the answer is not anymore. Why? So the first reason is because our smartphones are really, really powerful. They do not need any more to have uh, the, the specific language that is the closest to the, the micro uh, computer that is inside, to the uh, microcontroller that are, that is inside, the CPU. Uh, and, uh, and nowadays we need to save money when we develop a startup. We need to reiterate. We need to adapt our product to our customers. Uh, and uh, honestly, when you will click on the cross platform, application and a native application, you will not be able to really get the, the, the real performance improvement on the native one because they are already very, very powerful. So that's the first reason. The second reason is because you're going to save tons of time and money. Having the same team working on both devices will just, you will develop one language instead of two basically. Uh, so you're going to save time, money, uh, and that's really, really the way to go in 2021. So even some big application, and I'm thinking about like uh, e-commerce application like Amazon, etc., they are using cross-platform languages. So if they use this type of languages, why you as a startup, you would do uh, things differently. Definitely go for a cross-platform. The only cases where it's still relevant to use native languages are if you really, 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 I mean, really need some high performance in your application. So I'm thinking about like 3D games as example, or maybe video editing things with real time improvement. In that case, that might be required. Or if you use uh, virtual reality or vi um, augmented reality, in that case, it might need, I just say it might, because you also have some cross-platform frameworks like Unity, who do some very good job and that can, can allow you to create mobile application uh, that are performant, uh, no matter which type of device you are on, and you will only need to develop for one device. And if you need some uh, quick and small adaptations in terms of uh, look and feel, etc., then you can have some frameworks that automatically adapt the um, the, uh, the screen to the type of device. And you can also detect in the same language which color on, of, or which shape or which behavior your application will have on each device. So basically, even if you want to do some customized things for one type of device and another, you can do it with cross-platform language, keeping 95 up to 99% of your source code the same for both language. So in 2021, it doesn't require to use native language anymore. That's my point of view. As a startup coach, as a CTO, uh, you're going to save tons of time going uh, on cross-platform languages. And maybe I can develop that in another episode uh, very soon where I'm going to talk about the type of frameworks that you can use or you should use based on the type of usage you will have with your application. I hope it helps. And uh, until then, I wish you a great day uh, and I'm going to talk to you very soon in another episode. Bye for now.